Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. I'm Alex Gasser, here to tell us about the STAR Therapeutic Program is Recreation Coordinator, Mariah Lincoln. Mariah, welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so tell me what the STAR Therapeutic Program is. So it's a program for our special needs community who cannot participate in our normal recreation programs. So this allows them to get together once a month and we do different things. So March, we are going to have a big bingo night kind of stationed around the theme of St. Patty's Day. Um, April, we have a Easter egg hunt. So we pack some eggs and then this year, we're gonna stay out of the cold because it was cold last year. <laughs> that was a very chilly day. Um, we are going to hide eggs inside the Osage Center and have everyone have fun searching for their eggs. And then May, we do a big barbecue to kick off summer. So each month, we try to do a different theme just to get everyone together since it's a once a month program. Oh, awesome. Um, so what does STAR actually stand for? Is it, does it stand for something? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Special Therapeutic Activities and Recreation is what STAR actually comes down to actually meeting. Okay, gotcha. So we try to incorporate everyone. Um, everyone has a different style of disability, so we just want to make sure that everyone enjoys an activity, whether bingo, you're not doing much physical activity, um, the the group actually, they love to actually have their own people call. So we just sit there and we have a fun night of watching everyone enjoy it. Um, they all get gifts or prizes for winning. We Each game we call out some to co or do four corners, blackout. Um, they just have so much fun with all the different, let me tell you, that candy is another thing. <laughs> <laughs> they get limited, so they are so excited when they get to come because they get to have their little treats. Um, sometimes it's a little held off. It's not as much. They'll stagger it out, but they always know. They're always going to see some of their friends from other uh, different community houses that um, sometimes have the independent living or assisted living for them so that they get to see friends. I mean, sometimes they're like, yay. They're so, it's just so nice to see the smiles. And let me tell you, the dances, the dances are fun and they get down and boogie, let me tell you. <laughs> um, so how does someone um, sign up for that program? So if someone is, is wanting to be part of, of STAR. So we have moved to an online registration, okay. cityofcape.org. Um, you can go through Parks and Rec's department and classes. You can sign up online to make it a quick and easy process, or you can just fill out the paperwork when you arrive. We just do that um, just for safety in case anything would happen and we need a head count. If we're all evacuating a building or something, we at least know who was all in attendance. Um, there's no cost. It oh, is free awesome. to all of the members. Um, it's just a program we want to have fun and enjoy. So. Um, Donations are always welcome from the community. We will put them to great use. Um, we, like I said, we do something, they get something every month. So we, food, whether it be treats or even gifts for the playing the games. Sometimes we try to get new items in. Um, in the summer, we do a wacky water wars. So water balloons go fast. <laughs> so I think we went through 4,000 last summer oh my, in a two hour wow. time period. <laughs> So they enjoy the fun and everything. So, um, but yes, it is free to the community to enjoy. Sign up online or just be prepared to fill out a little bit of information when you arrive, just, just to have a safety in case we need to call anyone if something would happen. Awesome. So from the other side of it, if there's someone in the community that wants to get involved to volunteer, is, is there a way for, vol for volunteers to get involved in Yes, it? Um, as our group grows, um, from what I've understood, I'm newer to the Parks and Rec Department, is we are back to pre-COVID numbers of attendance. So we are averaging over 100 participants each month. Wow. Um, that That's is amazing. not including any of the employees that come with them or the sponsors. Um, so just participants alone, I'm at at least 100 each month. So my little group of us, there's, <laughs> we're really small, so we would love to take anyone volunteering willing to get um, more than happy to do volunteer hours for any of the local fraternity sororities need to give out the philanthropy, the philanthropy hours. <laughs> philanthropy, yep. <laughs> um, so we're more than happy to help with any of that. Um, just shoot me an email. It's mlincoln at cityofcape.org, and we'll be glad to give you the dates and correct times and locations, and they're more than welcome to come out and enjoy the night, too. Oh, awesome. That's wonderful. Um, did the dates, are they pretty consistent each month they or do are. they kind of vary throughout? I know you said it's like once a month. So is it pretty consistent it's or pretty consistent just depending on how the first part of the month falls. We try to do 
first or second Thursday of the month. Um, like I said, it just depends if it's a five week, we kind of maybe push it. If it's, gotcha. if it starts the first, we still yeah. kind of push it. <laughs> it's, it just depends on how the month falls. Um, and then to, um, at the end of summer, we do a big party at Cape Splash before they close for the normal business hours. Um, so that kind of plays into the effect of how early are they going to just uh, weekend hours and how they protect to be able to get the lifeguards to keep the lifeguards on staff too. So gotcha. um, some months it kind of varies, but we try to, when we put out a um, calendar, we try to do a six months okay. at a time. So there's plenty of notice. Um, we did have a hiccup in January. Definitely did not get the bowling alley reserved in time. So we had to <laughs> shift the time up that day. Um, so we had a really small group, but still some people came out. But most of the time it's going to be the first or second Thursday from 6 to 8 with slight variations on time depending on what activity we have throughout the year. Awesome. Is there an age limit on um, star participants? No, we do not. Uh, most of our participants, though, are um, late teen Oh, and to the adults, we don't get really the younger crowd, okay. um, but most of our participants are older, but we are open to any age. Um, as long as they're willing to come, we're willing to support them and bring them in and have fun. Awesome. So you told, you said that you guys are doing bingo and you've mentioned like the water balloons. What's some other fun activities that you guys have done? Um, um, we're hoping to do a movie night this ooh. year and because we do have a pop-up movie screen where we can project the movie on. So um, we always let them walk through Haunted Hall. Um, we do limit like the strobe lights and stuff because that could trigger anyone's um, disability. So we do kind of scale it back for them. Okay. So we walk them before the general public when we have um, our Haunted Hall night. in. so that one does move to Friday though because Haunted Hall is only a Friday, Saturday um, event. So we let them have that and I didn't have enough help to help walk them through this year. So yes. So if you we need are, volunteers. Yes, yes. You need volunteers. Um, okay. We have two dances um, and we just do the whole entire Osage. We bring in a DJ. He has their favorite songs that everyone usually requests. And let me tell you, every once in a while at the later in the night, the, the employees will get out there and have fun dancing. Um, and then we bring Santa in back in, in December and we do Santa pictures and kind of each month has its theme based on the theme of what that month is. So February, we did a dance for Sweetheart, St. Patrick's Day, Easter. It's going to be a little late because Easter fell early this yeah. year. Um, barbecue to kick off summer and then we do definitely outdoor activities for the summer. Try to keep them energized and fun, especially since we're later in the evening. It's a little, it's starting to cool off so it's not too hot. Um, and we just try to have fun each month and hopefully we get new people and keep them, keep growing. Awesome. So what's that website again? Cityofcape.org. You'll go through to the Parks and Rec Department and go under classes. And then we have our own page off the classes page. Awesome. And if someone's interested in volunteering, who do they need to contact? They can contact me. My email is mlincoln at cityofcape.org. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing about the yes. STAR program. Um, love hearing that. And um, look for an email from me because I'm definitely interested in, in participating.